hi guys welcome back to another exciting video so in this video i'm going to show you step by step how i design a logo for a client so this video will walk you through the steps the basic steps required to create a logo using pixel lab application so the logo i've already designed it and i've sent it to the client but i'm just going to walk you through how i did it so you can apply the same process on your work so first things first i will extend the image size so that i'll have more room to work here so this is basically using all the tools you know on pixel lab so if you don't know how to use pixel lab i'll put a video a link to a video on how to use it for beginners so you can find that link at the description section of this video okay next up i will import the tools i'll need for this i've already taken the time to create the tools so i wouldn't have to bore you with all the details but I'll put a link to download all the tools that you will need in this video so it's for a restaurant a food shop so this is the concept I'm using, something food related to see. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, I'll remove this text for now. I don't need it. Then I'll duplicate this after cropping. So I want to use two of it. I'll duplicate, then crop it all. So these are the two icons I need for this logo. Um, I'll resize. Okay, next up. The name of the brand is Trexio Treats TT. So the concept I want to apply here is to use the icons to create the letter T. Let me just write it out here. So this is the name of the brand. So the concept I want to use here is to have two letters that are related to food and also related to the brand. So I'll use this to align the size. Okay, after adding them, I'll merge each of them to their respective icons. So as you can see, I've formed the letters I need. Um, next up, I will resize again. Then I'll align at the center. After this, I want to form an icon that looks similar to a plate, just to give the concept of having 
your spoon on a plate. So we use a bright color for this, something I can erase. So I'll use the erase color to to outline my icon. So this is like the concept of a plate and spoons together. So to wrap it up this plate looks so basic i want to add something to it just like an outline Okay, now I want to apply the colors for the brand. Um, if I can remember, I use the bright color for this. Yeah. Okay, when designing logos, you need to have the colors you need out of the box, like the colors for the brand. Ideally, it should be not more than three colors. I see a lot of people adding ton of colors just to beautify it. That doesn't make your work beautiful. It only makes it harder to read. So I actually downloaded the color palette that I can use. So for this brand, I want, okay, this is not the one I want. I want it to be yellow and green, then with some white, whitish color. So I'm just going to form the green color. But it's good to have the colors before starting your design. That way, your work will be organized. So for now, I'm done with this icon. So this is like the official icon for the brand. The letters T T. So now I'll just add the text. Okay, I've done that. I'll change the font and um, I'll just keep this simple and use one of these. So for this brand, I actually used three colors, per se. But that's because the brand already had something. It's this more like a logo design, redesign. So I actually used something that would include their previous color. And I got the color from this palette. So this is it. So here I will change the color to reflect that. So this is just to add some extra. So these are the main colors I used for this. I'll 
change this to this. Okay, I can actually hide this. I don't need it for now. And let me change this font to be something welcoming. Okay, the name of the font we'll be using is Action Man Bold. I'll put the link to download that in the description section of this video. Okay. After that, I'll add the tagline for the brand. Um, so, if you're designing logo for a client, most times the brand don't usually have a tagline, and you'll be taxed with bringing up a tagline for them so that's when you let your creativity get the best of you you can as well go to google and search for taglines relating to that particular business so for this i actually use more flavor for less um, i want to keep it simple I'll change the fonts of this as well. So as you can see, I used just three colors for the main brand. This can be white or black as you see fit. Another concept to have in mind is the main name of the brand should be bold so that people can see it. The tagline can be something subtle because that's not the main thing people are looking after in a brand. So I want to make this so it will align properly and I'll change the color to be black. Okay. okay, there is something I just want to add to increase the design to make it look more food like. So I can reduce this, it's actually too big. And align, take this up, take this up a bit. I'll make sure to align all my elements at the center. I'll take this down a bit then align at the center okay lastly i'm just going to add a little bit of icon this i downloaded from google and i'll put a link to get it so the concept is just so that this logo looks like a food brand and the green color i, I used in it was also to reflect nature so logo design branding transcend beyond just knowing how to use pixel lamp. You need to know coloration and you need to reflect what the brand is about. So I'll take this down, I'll duplicate, and then um, switch. Okay, lastly, I'll match both icons together, then reduce and align them to the center. Okay, as you can see, we are done with this logo and you can send the sample to your client so they can access what you've done. But I also want to apply a mock-up to it, so for that, you can save this as a project so you always come back to this point where you are. So I'll save it as TT. So before applying the 
mock-up. I wanted to save the plain logo as a project in case I need to make any updates to it. So I'll merge all the tools together. I want to use a light. As you can see, the colors of this logo are dark. So using a dark background for your mock-up is not going to work well. I will show you a little bit of sample here. Let me say I use a dark background. You can see some elements are not showing. So the mock-up you want to use is, should be something that is bright. And I already have one background I formed. I'll put a link to download the background as well. And I'll also put a link to show you a video where I explain how to come up with a background like this. So do well to check that as well. Okay, after this, I'll apply 3D shape to it. Reduce the depth to about 5. And then use a gradient and also select the color of the background. So now this is where things get real to get the 3D dimension so it will look like a 3D logo person. So I have actually memorized this after lots of practice. So this should be, the Y rotation should be around 20 and the X should be minus, okay, should be on 20 as well. The Z rotation should be at 20, then the one for the Y should be ideally from within the range of 30 and 40. So whichever, whichever one you choose, it should work well. And then below that, I will set the ambient lighting. <coughs> I can leave the darkness at this. As you can see, if I make it darker, it's not going to look well. So I'll leave it at the default, which is 30%. Okay, lastly, I'll apply shadows to it. I'll reduce the blur to about 8, set the offsets, make it 2-2 two, two for the X and Y axis. So as you can see, this logo has been completed and I've also applied some 3D effects to it. I'll just go ahead and save it as an image. You can also save as a project and I'll choose the ultra dimension then I'll click on the save button. Yeah. So that's it guys. I hope you find this video useful. Um thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.